On the next Canine Corner, we have some very cute pups to introduce you to. MPG Pet Photos is here to give these special needs dogs their time to shine with a free photo shoot. Then, we are going to meet the company Wagaware, where you can buy a charm and save a dog's life. And let's not forget, we are fighting cancer with a Canine Corner team for Bark for Life. We will tell you how to join our pack. All this and more coming up right now on Canine Corner. Hey dog lovers, you are watching Canine Corner, the show that guarantees to keep your dog's tail wagging. I am your host, Megan Medic, and I'm so happy that you are joining us today because on today's episode, we're gonna introduce you to the company Wagaware, which created a cute charm for you and your dog that symbolizes rescue and adoption. Also, Bark for Life is coming. I'm gonna tell you how you can join the Canine Corner team and walk with us as we fight cancer. But before we get into all of that, we teamed up with local pet photographer and owner of Peachy Pet Photo, Sheena Maine, and hosted a free photo shoot for adoptable dogs with special needs. Let's meet these cute boys and girls as they got their superstar on in front of the camera. Pet photographer Sheena Maine began her career by volunteering her time to taking pictures of animals in shelters who desperately needed homes. During her experience, she noticed how many special needs dogs there were in shelters and how most were never adopted simply because they were different. She was instantly inspired to adopt. I was looking through a website um, specifically for special needs dogs because I knew that they don't get adopted out as faster as other dogs. And that is when she found her perfect match, Daisy. She changed my life because I'm an in impatient person. Um, so she taught me how to be more patient um, and be more loving and caring towards the animals and be more appreciative of their lives as well. And um, just be happy um, because she, despite her challenges, like I said, she's so happy. She's always wagging her tail. And then that really made me realize that Life isn't that as bad as I think it is, and um, maybe with her I can be happy, I can be more positive and receive positive energy as well as give positive energies to others. Daisy was found wandering the streets of Long Beach by an animal control officer and ended up in a high kill shelter. She was born with her front leg bones fused together, so they were unable to develop correctly and are permanently in a bent position. But as long as she's on a grassy area or carpet, she can run just as fast as all the other small dogs. These dogs who have may be unattractive to a mass public um, can be perfect to one person like me. I think we have this special bond and this special connection because I feel like we grew up together. Um, I had some problems emotionally and I feel that I'm much stronger now that I have Daisy and I feel that Daisy is more physically stronger because um, at first she was a little slow at walking, slow at running and now she is so fast. We were facing the challenges together and we were still overcoming it together. Because of the bond her and Daisy share, Sheena was inspired to start the Special Peach Project to help show others how rewarding adopting a special needs dog can be. A special needs dog is a dog that requires something more than the typical dog care routine. It could be the dog is blind, suffer from epilepsy, or just have a bad case of separation anxiety. I felt that they need a fair chance to survive. And they're not much different from other dogs. They're just, they just have different needs. All dogs have different needs. Theirs is just more special. With the Special Peach Project, Sheena will take free pictures of your special needs dog or adoptable dogs with special needs and post them on her website and Facebook. She will also give you three digital files of the pictures to help get them adopted. I just want to celebrate life of these special needs dogs and cats because they all face the challenge and people, I, I feel that if I can show that these dogs and cats are happy despite their challenges, maybe I can open up their minds and open up their heart so that they can maybe consider adopting a special needs dog. Even just being able to consider that is, 
I think, a huge accomplishment. Peachy Pet Photos is all about being fun, creative, colorful, and organic. But most importantly, with the Special Peach Project, Sheena hopes that her time and talent will help increase the adoption rates of special needs dogs such as these. This is Luke. He's uh, nine years old. Uh, we bailed him from the uh, shelter. And when we got him, he was pretty sick. He had uh, kidney stones and he had really bad teeth and we had to have some of his teeth taken out. But uh, he's doing really well. He gets along good with other dogs. Uh, he'd make a really great pet for a senior. He's energetic, he's uh, fun, and really wants to be with the, his uh, owners. Uh, this is Alvin, he's nine years old. Uh, he came from the, the Downey shelter. Um, he was on the euthanasia list twice. Uh, the first time he got very, very sick, and um, they, they were gonna put him, put him to sleep, and then, uh, they put him in a room over the weekend, and he uh, he survived the weekend, and so uh, he went back into the kennel. So he was still there for a while, and so we went back and got him. And he's got a he's not, even though he's nine years old, he's got a super lot of energy. He gets along well with other dogs. He loves to walk. Alvin's also got a special needs of uh, he has a a condition they call stargazing, where sometimes in bright light, it's like he sees things and he'll run and chase them, but uh, it's not uh, something that's. He's all the time. He's just super a lot of energy, super lovey, super cute. This is Simpson, and he's about eight or nine months old. He came in with his mother and siblings as a stray in the shelter. And we bailed the mother, and then uh, he was still there, and he got sick, so we went back and bailed him too. Now, uh, Simpson, is, he's like eight, nine, eight, nine months old, so his really special need is he was sort of neglected before he got to the shelter. And uh, now we sort of we cleaned him up, and he really needs somebody that understands uh, puppies and willing to work with him. He's super sweet. He doesn't walk at all on the leash, and we're sort of working on that. And uh, anybody who's looking for a, a, a great family pet, it simply would be a good choice. Hey guys, you all know who this is. This is my foster dog, Apple, and she is still up for adoption. She is a five and a half month old Italian Greyhound miniature pincher mix. Apple is so playful loves toys, runs around my house, jumps in every single bed, has two different dog beds that she claims is her own. She plays great with other dogs, would be perfect for a family, is good with kids. She's a little timid at first because, you know, she was in the shelter, so she needs a second to warm up, but the second she knows you, she will love you forever. She demands to sleep under my covers with me at night. And she is one of our special needs dogs that we are gonna photograph today because she did come out of the shelter with a broken right arm. We're not sure how it happened. She was found as a stray and couldn't walk or put any pressure on it. Um, she just got her cast off yesterday and there's still a little fracture in there. But she is always going to have one leg shorter than the other. So her right leg is a little shorter because it wasn't that cast and it didn't have the opportunity to grow um, as long as the left leg. So she has a little limp when she walks. I call it her swagger walk. And I'm sure when she gets used to having her cast off, she will be 100% back to normal and ready to be your special dog and love you forever. This is Little Miss Waffles. She is five years old. She is a Chihuahua miniature pincher mix. Now Waffles here was found as a stray, no collar, no microchip, and sadly no one came looking for her. But now she is with Take Me Home Rescue and she is such a delightful dog to have around. She settled right into her foster home. She gets along with all dogs, big and small. She's house trained. She loves sunbathing. You guys should see her at adoption events. She lays in the sun all day. And Waffles is one of our special needs dogs today because she barely has any teeth. So she has trouble eating. She can't eat a lot of hard food. She's on a very special strict diet. And unfortunately, um, all of her teeth are gonna have to get pulled and then her tongue is gonna hang out the side of her little mouth, but she is such a sweet girl and she would make the perfect pet for any home. If you're interested in adopting Luke, Alvin, or Simpson, contact Miniature Schnauzers and Friends Rescue at msfr.org or email info at msfr.org. If Apple or Waffles are your perfect pet, then contact Take Me Home Rescue via takemehome.tv or email tmhrescue at gmail.com. If you want to be a part of the Special Peach Project and get photos taken of your special needs dog, contact Sheena Main at peachypetphotos.com or email hello at peachypetphotos.com. 
If you think Daisy is as adorable as we do, make sure to follow her on Instagram. She posts the cutest and silliest pictures that are sure to brighten your day. Find her at Underbite Unite. A huge thank you to the rescues for coming out with your very special pups and to Peachy Pet Photos for taking the initiative to help those dogs find the loving homes that they deserve. Now, adopting a special needs dog does take a little extra work and love, but the reward of unconditional loyalty and affection is the best payoff. With that being said, let's take a look at this month's favorite viewer photo. Our favorite viewer picture of the month is of Lucky. Lucky was taken out of the shelter by the Mona family seven years ago, and he has made the perfect addition to their family. Way to go, Monas. Thank you to everyone who sent in your pictures. They were such a blast to look at. And make sure you keep them coming, guys, and you can see your four-legged friend on next month's show. Find Canine Corner and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash caninecornertv and follow me on Twitter at Megan Canine Corner. And I am always sure to share fun behind the scene pictures with you guys from every shoot that we do. Now, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna have a great adoption Q&A. And I'm gonna introduce you guys to one of my favorite rescue companies, Wagaware, where you can buy a charm and help save a dog's life. Don't go anywhere, Canine Corner will be right back. I remember the moment clearly. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. I realized that moment. When we first saw the damage, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Together with local responders, we cleared trees and collapsed walls. We had to get to the family trap beneath. As a citizen soldier, I made a difference. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. When I was 16, I was in a bad car accident, and the doctors told me I would never stand again. Somehow, I knew I would. Progress has been slow, but family, friends, and strangers all started to pray for me. Whether you need support in a tragedy or just to make it through a bad day, prayer can make a difference. America, let's come together by believing with each other. For someone to come alongside you and say, I'm going to believe with you, it means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Canine Corner. Now I am here with Miss Sam Haas, and she is the owner and founder of Wagaware, which is a company that supplies the only charm for dogs that supports dog adoption and rescue. And 50% of the profits for this charm go straight to supporting rescues. And right now we are here with three of the cutest rescues there ever were. You guys know my foster dog, Apple, and obviously our canine corner mascot, Owen. And then we have Sam's new rescue, Miss Kiki. Sam, introduce me to Kiki, tell me all about her. So this is Kiki Lulu, and I adopted her from Downey Shelter um, in Los Angeles. She was on her last day in the shelter, and she was in the medical ward because she had a broken pelvis. Um, she was used as a breeding dog, and after so many uh, births, it finally broke her pelvis, and her previous owner just discarded her because she was no longer useful, I guess. And the day I got her, she was so skinny and shaking and really scared. But after a little bit of time and some love and a lot of food, she's a healthy, happy dog and her, her hips healed. And she's made a wonderful pet and a wonderful addition to our family. Before we get into the charms, tell me about the company and how you started it, where the whole idea came from. Yeah, I, so I used to work at the Humane Society of the United States. And while I was there, I realized there was no universal symbol for dog rescue and adoption. And of course, there's a great need for a universal symbol that helps fundraise and raise awareness. So that's really how Wagaware came about. I like to say we're like the Live Strong bracelet for pet rescue, but the dogs participate too, so they're a little activist. Sam grew up with a family that loved animals, which sparked her desire to make a difference in their lives. But to her, there is no comparison to the love a dog can bring a person. I've always loved animals, but there's something about dogs in particular. You know, they're the only being that love you more than they love themselves. And dogs give unconditional love. They make such wonderful companions and they enhance our lives so much. This unconditional love that we receive from our four-legged friends is exactly what Sam is giving back to dogs all over the country with the Wagaware charm. The charm's design is um, super cute. It goes on dogs of all shapes and sizes and it's gender neutral. So it goes on a boy dog or a girl dog 
and they're lightweight, noiseless, and they even glow in the dark. And it really stands for the concept that you and your dog care about dogs in need, and you love dogs, and you want to show the world that you're doing something about it. What do you think is the most important message to tell people who are contemplating adopting a dog? It's simple. Rescue is the best breed. They know where they came from, they've seen the other side, and they really have an amazing um, perception of how lucky they are right now, and they're super grateful. And so they make really wonderful pets because they really want to make their owners happy. I know with Owen here, I talk about him all the time on the show. Why he's our, he's our Canine <laughs> Corner mascot, but he was a street rescue and he was dumped on the street as a puppy. And I know that Owen loves me so much because he knows that, you know, I rescued him mm -hmm. and he was on the street in a bad situation and maybe it's because we're both blonde and we have the same personality, but <laughs> I know that he knows that, you know, I'm I'm his best friend and, Completely. you know, I he rescued me. Completely. That's so. what we always say, rescue is a two-way street, you know, they, we rescue them, but in so many ways that we'd never realize. <laughs> they rescue us and they enhance our lives in ways that are so amazing that it's you know really our responsibility as a civilized society to to help these dogs that can't help themselves. Of course Sam's dogs are Wagaware ambassadors and so is Owen. But my foster Apple came out to meet Sam and learn about Wagaware so she could also become an ambassador to dogs in need. We would love for Apple. She's a wonderful ambassador because she shows what a wonderful dog you can get at the shelter. So here is Apple. She's now rescue turned Wagaware ambassador. Woo! And Yay. she's raising awareness for her fellow dogs in need that need shelters <laughs> and loving homes. So here Yay. you go, Apple. Perfect, Sam. Well, thank you so much. And guys, make sure you go get your dog charms at wagaware.com. They glow in the dark, they are noiseless, and they make your dog so cute, and they let everyone know that you support dog rescues and adoption, which I know we all do. This is Canine Corner. It's what we do best, is supporting dog adoptions and rescue. So you guys stick around, because when we come back from this quick break, we're gonna have a Q&A with Sam all about rescue and adoption. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. You always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks, Mom and Dad. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Oh, hey, bud. Where, uh, where are you headed? Uh, just going to hang out. With Gary and Todd? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you, is there any drinking going on in this crowd? No. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I'd do anything to keep you safe. OK, I will. I hope this is working. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Hey, guys, and welcome back. Now I want to take the time to invite you to join Canine Corner as we walk with our dogs to help fight cancer. Bark for Life is a Relay for Life event that's happening right here at Charles Wilson Park on Sunday, October 27th. And we want you to join our team. And when you join, you're going to get a cute Canine Corner t-shirt. Your dog will get a fun doggy bandana. And most importantly, we're going to have fun with our four-legged friends for a good cause. Join the team at main.acsevents.org slash go to slash canine corner TV. All right, now let's hop into this month's Q&A. What is the best way to help shelter dogs if you can't own one yourself? Well, if you can't own a shelter dog yourself, I think the best way you can help save a life is to volunteer to foster. So contact your local um, rescue organizations. And if you don't know who to contact, I always say to ask your vet. They have great suggestions of great rescues and foster a dog because you save a life when you foster a dog. And then of course you can buy a Wagaware charm because you're helping to spread the message about rescue just by wearing the charm. And we give 50% of our profits to dog rescue organizations. Is it better to get a doggy from a, straight from a, a shelter or from a, a rescue group? I like to tell people if they're first time adopters to go to a rescue group because the dog's already been vetted and the rescue group knows the temperament so they can match you up with your dog in the best way. But of course, a shelter is a wonderful place to rescue from. 
and uh, just give the dog some time and they all, they all just need a second chance and they make wonderful pets. What do rescue groups do with your donations? There's so many things rescues can do with the donation money and every single dollar counts and can literally make the difference between life and death for a dog. But rescues need the money for the pull fee when they pull a dog from a kill shelter. Um, they need to spay and neuter the dog often. They need it for food, basic care, and often these dogs have medical needs that need to be met and they can get pretty expensive. So if everyone does their part, uh, every dollar counts because it can all add up and save a dog's life. How much does it cost to house a pet in a shelter or a temporary foster home? There really is no average cost with a shelter, but often when you foster, the rescue will reimburse you for the cost that it is for food, medical care, um, and really fostering is saving a life. So if you can open your heart um, and your home, it costs a little bit of time and really a little bit of effort and you save a life. Thank you guys for all of your questions and to Miss Sam Haas for your perfect answers. Now, if you missed our dog adoption segment from the beginning of the show with our cute special needs dogs, here is your recap. Our first special needs pup is Luke, a nine-year-old schnauzer who has had some suffering due to bladder stones. Luke has had surgery and is ready to make you his family. He requires special food, which is a small price to pay for the endless love he will bring you and your family. He is simply too cute for words. Next, we have cute Alvin. Despite his puppy face, Alvin is actually nine years old. He suffers from a condition called stargazing, which is related to OCD. He sees spots and will chase things in the light, but if you ask me, that just makes him cuter. Alvin would be great in any home with love and patience. And here is our little boy, Simpson. Simpson is eight months old, has a very calm demeanor, is potty trained, and can use a doggy door. He has suffered from neglect before he was taken in by the rescue and needs some structure and obedience. But since he is so young, once he is adopted and gets the love he needs, he will be the perfect boy. Apple, my love, is six months old and is still suffering from a fracture in her leg. She is getting better at using it when on walks and hopefully soon she will use all four legs. She is potty trained and can use a doggy door. I would love to see her placed in a home with another dog to play with. She does need a second to warm up to strangers due to fear issues. And lastly, we have the lovely Waffles. This tiny five-year-old young Chihuahua miniature pincher mix is a ray of sunshine. Waffles was found as a skinny stray. This friendly girl loves cats, dogs, kids, and every person she meets. She does require special wet food, and unfortunately, her teeth do need to be pulled out, but it's only going to make her cuter. She would make anyone the perfect family pet. If you have a question about one of these perfect pooches or anything else, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer right away. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentsca.gov. All right, my fellow dog lovers, that is all the time we have on our show today. Thank you so much for joining us here on Canine Corner, the show that guarantees to keep your dog's tail wagging. I am your host, Megan Medic, and we'll see you next time.